we are at Baghdad Cemetery, way out in the middle of nowhere. And it's really a tribute to a friend of ours that we never had a chance to meet. His name is Roland. He liked to stay very mysterious. He's really one of our unsung heroes. I uh, he used to come out here a three and a half hour drive from Los Angeles to get here and tend the cemetery uh, quite frequently. And he did that for at least 10 years. Went uh, unsung, went unnoticed. One day, out of the blue, he contacted us and said that we, he was aware that we had been out there because he had seen one of our pictures on our Facebook public page. So that's how we got to become friends. And we were saddened to hear he just passed away uh, earlier this month. We wanted to bring you out here and kind of show you what it was all about. Maybe what Roland experienced. Today it's about 113 degrees under partially cloudy skies. There he's repairing some of the barbed wire here. Looked like part of it had fallen down. Probably not that at the hands of people, but just getting weathered. Oh, okay. These, these actually are Roland's gloves that he had left here that we wanted to get for his family and send those to him. Roland is from Indiana. The funny thing is we didn't know where he was from. Uh, he would tease us to the point we didn't know if he was a man or a woman. Uh, we finally got a chance to talk to him. We had left our card here uh, earlier in the month and he and his niece, Megan, found it. And uh, we had written something on it like, you know, where you been? We've been waiting here all day. Of course we hadn't been, but it's really uh, hot out here. He got a chuckle out of that. And I guess he tucked our business card into his wallet. And that's where his family found it after Roland had passed away. So we're so glad they've contacted us. We're finally getting to know the man uh, that we never knew in life. And I have to tell you, it is so inspiring because he has uh, really touched our lives. It's just amazing that someone you never met could impact you like that. But I'm gonna show you the cemetery from one end so that you can look and see. And if you are wondering, I'm just gonna head that question off at the pass right now. No, Roland is not going to be buried here. I'm sure he would have loved that, but this is not an active cemetery. And he's going to be going back to his um, beloved Indiana, where he's originally from. 17 markers here. Um, there could be more here. We don't know, but... Um, yeah, there's a marker or a cemetery cemetery marker uh, outside the grounds too. We assume that is related to to uh, the cemetery and the mystery remains. Baghdad, the town, is not related to Baghdad Cafe at all. That was a movie that was uh, made in the late 1980s and it's become somewhat of a cult hit with especially Europeans. We, we love that movie. Uh, that is not related to here. Now there was a Baghdad cafe here, but that wasn't it. The one that was in the movie, that was formerly known as the Sidewinder Cafe. And because it became so popular, they just adopted the name. It's become a big hit and they still have tons of tour buses that pull up there on a weekly basis and people spell out and take a lot of photos. Um, and you might want to check that out too. That is in Newberry Springs though, that's not here. This is the real Baghdad. And this is all that's left of the real Baghdad, just the cemetery. Okay, well that pretty much is it for the cemetery. Um, it's right off Route 66, but there's no markers or signs or anything like that. And so uh, it's only marked by that one lone uh, tree out in front. And we'll get a quick shot of that too because Roland has carefully lined that with a circle of rocks that he found native to the area. That kind of marks that turnout, and it's just one of the many things uh, that we have found out that Roland has done 
on its own, unasked for and unexpected to, to take care of the cemetery. So I do have his gloves, as I said. I can't wait to mail this to his family. We're gonna let you go on that note. And as always, we enjoyed talking with you. Have a great The Desert Way adventure and we'll be talking again real soon. Take care.